Hello there. Welcome to Elite Weather. Mr. G here with you guys. I hope you guys are having a great weekend as we're about to wrap things up and get ready to go back to work for your Monday work and school, that is. And I'm going to be the guy that's going to let you know what to expect in the weather department. So as we take a look at what we're seeing out here for your Sunday evening, how are we going to end our day today? And we do have that pretty potent storm system through the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest out there that's spreading a lot of rain here through Wisconsin and into Michigan. That is going to still be in the area tomorrow, so you're going to continue to see that rainfall in that region. And it's going to spin a little bit to the south here before zipping on off to the northeast as we head on off through the week. And our trailing cold front down here is spreading some showers down here along the Gulf Coast and through portions of Florida. And we're seeing that rainfall and there's still a little bit of tropical moisture down here to the southwest into new mexico and arizona and even into southern california spreading a few showers and some thunderstorms there and we have another weak weather system over toward the portions of the pacific northwest with some rainfall across far northern California, southern Oregon, and a few showers coming into the Cascades as well. So we have that weather system, and that's going to be the only rainfall that we're going to see over the next seven days through portions of the Pacific Northwest as we move into your Sunday evening here. So that's that area. And that's all we're looking at as far as precipitation is concerned across the nation on your Sunday evening. And as we look at the watches and hazards, these are things that the weather service is uh, posting about here today. We have our red flag advisory through portions of the Northern Rockies, but we have a lot of wind and some warmth still in place out there. And we also have a flood advisory through portions of of Nevada. So we have some, some monsoonal rains or monsoonal type rains. The monsoons are officially over, but we do have a weather system out that way that is spreading some rainfall. So you may see the potential for some flash flooding through some of the canyons and passes uh, through the western edges of the Rockies out there, and of still the what runoff from rain across Southern California, even though we're not seeing a lot of rain today, but there's still uh, some flash flood issues as well as we're dealing with some of that rain off runoff from some of that heavy rain that we had with the moisture associated with Tropical Storm K, and not a whole lot going on across the nation today. Again. Some uh, flash flood, uh, some flooding issues possible through southern Wisconsin as we're dealing with some rain in that area as well. And here we are as we look at our current temperatures. It's pretty mild out there across most of the nation this afternoon. Our only real hot spot is down here across the desert southwest where we see our usual temperatures in the triple digits out here near Phoenix where it's 106 degrees right now and it's still going to be hot through portions of eastern California and a little warm through the Central Valley as well as we're seeing those temperatures in the 90s. But for the most part, we're seeing temperatures in the 80s up here across the northern Rockies near the Canadian border, but it's very nice temperatures in the 70s in the nation's midsection where we're a little bit warm across southern Texas, but that frontal boundary is going to be coming down to the Gulf Coast, so much better weather conditions as we move into your Monday. So we're seeing that warmth along the Gulf Coast and the southeast coast, but we're seeing those 70s and 60s all the way into the northeast. So pretty comfortable weather conditions out there across the nation as far as the temperatures are concerned, not too bad for the most part, with the exception of the, the warmth across the southwestern deserts, but that's normal weather for that region. And here we are as we take a look at our regional forecast for your Monday. Now we have that pretty potent weather system across the northeast, so especially in the Great Lakes, so the southwestern uh, Wisconsin as well as Michigan. It's going to be seeing a, a bit of rainfall that could lead to some flooding as well, and we're going to be seeing that frontal boundary that's going to be whipping on out of there as we move into your Tuesday. But in the, in the meantime, we're going to be seeing that rainfall through the northeast and down through the mid-Atlantic the southeast coast and the state of Florida as that front moves its way down to the south and east. So you will see a scattering of showers and some storms in that region. No severe weather to worry about right now. We're not really dealing with that as this is a very fall type system with a lot of rock, widespread rainfall, maybe some thunderstorms down along the frontal boundary to the south 
But as we look at your Tuesday, we're seeing our front wrapping on up out here and getting ready to make its way off to the north and east. So it's going to spread more showers and storms through the northeast for your Tuesday. But we're going to look at that dry weather across the southeast. Finally, just some showers down here across Florida, but dry across most of the southeast. Finally, we got one of these frontal boundaries, one of these cold fronts to drop down and move all the way through the southeast. It's been getting hung up about the mid-south area, and they've been hanging out there and leaving just days and days and days of rainfall. But we finally got one of those guys to push on through as we have high pressure to the north that's dropping to the south that's finally going to be pushing that guy on down a secondary front's coming down out of canada with a reinforcing shot of cooler weather across the far northern plains for your tuesday and tropical moisture is going to continue to hang on across the southwest as we got a lingering monsoon flow and we could see some that potential of some flooding rains through portions of utah and southeastern uh, nevada out there for your tuesday and a little bit of showers and storms as well for the northern rockies and a little bit for the pacific northwest as we have a couple of weak weather systems that's going to be uh kind of dropping down towards the south and east a little bit there they're going to be what we call an inside slider they're going to be coming on shore they're not going to really move across the northern plains but they're going to drop down to the south and east a little bit before uh, moving moving into colorado before zipping on off to the northeast later on this week so that is a look at our weather forecast as far as the the actual weather here's our temperatures as we take a look at your theme for your monday your monday temperatures we're seeing those temperatures through the 80s and 90s down here across the south texas area we're going to be seeing those 80s and low 90s as well and we're going to be seeing things warm up a little bit through the central plains as we have a little bit of high pressure it's going to be a transient high it's not going to be a blocking situation and we're not going to see any long-term heat across this region just for a day or so we're going to see those temperatures in the 80s up here and lower 90s through portions of the central and northern plains cooler weather is going to continue across the northern tier of the nation through the great lakes and the upper mississippi valley we're seeing those temperatures in the 60s and 70s as well as those 70s into the northeast we're seeing our 80s down from the mid-atlantic down through the southeastern coast to the carolinas and georgia as well as florida our 90s down in far south florida 80s along the Gulf Coast and across south, southern Texas here, we're seeing those temperatures in the 80s, so much better weather conditions. And finally, some dry weather and our hot weather will continue down across the southwestern deserts, but you're going to be seeing it in the 90s as we might see a little bit of cloud cover and the potential for some showers and storms down across the southwest, so things are going to be a little bit cooler because of all that cloud cover. And as we go into your Tuesday, Okay, I got the clicker to work. My clicker is trying to die on me here. And here we are as we look at the weather uh, as far as the temperatures are concerned. And we're seeing those temperatures in the 80s and 90s. A little bit of a warm up here is going to happen on your uh, across Texas through the central and northern Rockies. Not the Rockies, but the Plain States here for your Tuesday as we see those temperatures in the 80s and into the lower 90s. So a little bit of a warm up, but that will be a brief warm up because we have a little bit more of cooler weather that's going to come in from the west. We're seeing things starting to cool off across the Rockies. It's going to continue to be cooler weather across the upper Mississippi Valley and the Great Lakes. You see those temperatures in the 60s and 70s there, 70s across the northeast as well, 70s to lower 80s, and again, our 70s and lower 80s across the Gulf Coast and down into the state of Florida. So overall, we're definitely seeing the nation get a little bit cooler. We're even seeing it cooler across the Pacific Northwest. We're not dealing with triple digit system temperatures in the 70s and 80s. So cooling trend across the nation 
for the days to come as fall starts to show some signs of arriving here as we are about a week away from the first day of autumn. So that is a look at your uh, early week weather forecast, the first couple of days, your Monday and your Tuesday. My name is Mr. G. Thanks for watching me. And we got a black screen here. And that is it. Uh, I guess that's it. You guys have seen enough. You're watching me on my little black screen here and my clicker is dying on me need to replace the battery so all right that's it for your weather forecast today and i may or may not be able to do a video tomorrow as i am in school i have classwork and i have to work and i have a long commute home now so it takes two hours to get home so anyway um i will see you guys when i can make another video and give you an update on your forecast and i'll let you know what's happening see you guys later Bye bye